Welcome to our Christmas assembly. It's great to see you today. I'm Lisa. And I'm Madison. And we are hoping that you are going to have a lot of fun. So we've got a brand new game. Brand new game. We are excited about this, so listen carefully. So this game today is going to need two people. So yourself and a partner. And it's a bit of a guessing game. So yourself and your partner is going to look at the screen and see if you can guess what the gift is before the boy opens it on the screen. Yes. So pick a partner just now and watch this because the game is a way to start. you got on great with that Christmassy game. Oh, it was such a lot of fun. So much fun. And I wonder which one of the pair guessed more gifts than the other. I know. I mean, I like to try and guess what a present is before I open yeah, it. Yeah, I like to give it a shake. Oh, I like to feel round about it. So, I wonder, I, I think there will be a lot of people doing that this year. I think so. That game was just a little bit of practice. Yes. Okay, so that's our game done. That's us. And yes. now we're going to go and watch the Christmas story. So sit back, relax, and watch the screen because we're going to watch a little bit of the Christmas story. The story of Christmas. Jesus and the shepherds. 
This is Jesus. Julio! Jesus is the son of God who would grow up to do amazing things. <laughs> His parents on earth were Mary Hi. and Joseph. Hey Jesus was born in a barn because there was no room for him anywhere else in Bethlehem. On the night Jesus was born, there were some shepherds in the field keeping watch over their sheep. <sighs> Suddenly, an angel appeared before them uh -oh. and a bright light shone all around them. Ah! The shepherds were so scared, but the angel said, don't be afraid. Uh, okay. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. Whoa, what? The angel told the shepherds that they would find Jesus in a barn wrapped in strips of cloth, laying in a manger. Okay. Then the angel was joined by many, many other angels, and all of them sang, Glory to God in highest heaven, and peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. Then the angels returned to heaven. Uh, what just happened? And the shepherds said to each other, let's go to Bethlehem. Yeah. So they hurried to the village. You say that. And found the baby Jesus laying in the manger. Wow. <laughs> After seeing Jesus, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had told them about the baby Jesus. Everyone who heard the shepherd's story were amazed. Mary made sure she remembered all these things and thought about them often. <sighs> then the shepherds went back to their sheep and praised God for all they had seen. The baby was exactly who the angel had told them he was, the savior of the world, the son of God. That was a great reminder of the Christmas story. Mary and Joseph, how they found the stable, the shepherds came and visited baby Jesus as he was born, and the world celebrated. And we still celebrate Christmas today. Yeah. There's so many things about Christmas that I just love. love. What do you love about Christmas? The thing I love most yes. is the Christmas dinner. Oh, oh, the Christmas dinner. That's so not a normal dinner. Good. So good. Yes, I enjoy okay. Christmas dinner. When I'm sitting on the table, I also really like the fact that we get to have crackers at Christmas time. So good. Now, normally, we would pull a cracker. We're not allowed to touch it. But there's nothing normal this year, is there? <laughs> so we're not going to be pulling crackers. No. But we are going to attempt to pull the cracker ourselves. Okay. Okay? So do you have muscles? I think so. Right. So we're going to give it a go. Do you think we'll manage? A little bit scared. <laughs> Right, here we go. So we're twisting. Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, wasn't as scary as I thought. Oh, okay. it wasn't as scary. And I'll tell you, if you could smell it, you would smell the smell that comes with crackers. So here's the thing. Crackers are full of su surprises. Lots of surprises. And this year has also been full of surprises. It certainly has. And the surprises just keep on coming. And you know, as you're pulling your cracker this year, I want to leave you three things that you can think about. So there are some items inside a cracker. So Madison, go into your cracker and see what you can pull out. So it's one. It's, this is a bit, always a bit tricky, isn't it? Aha. Uh -huh. Two. Now you should have three things. There's always three things. I've got three things in my cracker. Yeah. Okay, I've and I'm going to talk about them in a minute. So the first thing I want you to find is your party hat. Is your hat. Now can you take this hat and put it on? Yes. Who wears their hat at the Christmas table or on Christmas Day? I'm not very good at putting the hat on. Are you not honest. great at putting the hat on? I normally start with the hat on and then it slips. So the hat that we all wear at Christmas time, for me, this reminds me of Jesus who was born, as we watched in the video, on Christmas Day. Now we don't know if that was the actual day he was born, but we have decided that that is the day that we are celebrating it. Do you know, Jesus was born as a baby, and it says this in the Bible, that he is the Prince of Peace. And you know, a prince wears a crown. Yeah. And that, for me, represents Jesus who we celebrate at Christmas time. So that's the first bit about the cracker. Yeah. So I'm liking, I'm liking the hat. I like You the need hat. to wear your hat on Christmas Day. Okay. Okay, so what else do I have in the cracker? Okay, so we've always got the joke, haven't we? We do! I love the joke. Sometimes they're really cheesy. A lot of it. Sometimes you get a little <laughs> fact. Yes. These are quite cool. They are. Oh, I quite like 
like this one. Okay, okay. Come on, so, oh, am I reading that? You read it, read that. Joke. Okay, so the joke says this: What do snowmen wear on their heads? I don't know. What do snowmen wear on their heads? Ice caps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just cheesy. I do love a cheesy joke, but there's a lot of fun at Christmas time, isn't there? And the Christmas. jokes represent the fun at Christmas. Some of my favourite things at Christmas is to decorate my tree. I have a lot of fun when I'm decorating my tree. Yes. I like wearing the Christmas jumpers. We do. And dressing up for Christmas. That is a lot of fun. I love the Christmas music. Yes, you get to dance and you get to do all the Christmas love stuff. Love it. When I'm driving along in my car and yes. I've got the Christmas music on, it's the most fun. It is a lot of fun at Christmas time. So the joke represents all the fun we have at Christmas. It does. So we hope that you have a fantastic, fun-filled Christmas as well. And the third thing you'll find in the cracker, can you tell me? So we've got the crown, we've got the joke, but you also get a gift, don't you? Now what did you get in your cracker? I got a star-shaped cookie cutter. Oh, that's a great gift. Great gift. Love it. Oh, yeah, I'm loving the gift. Well, I got a nail clippers. Very handy gift. Handy gift, practical gift. It'll be very useful one day. And that kind of represents what Christmas is, isn't it? Sometimes we get gifts that are very handy and practical, and sometimes we get gifts that are a lot of fun and games that we can play. Do you know, Christmas is a time where we give and receive gifts, don't we? I'm sure by the time that you have left school for the Christmas holidays, you may receive a Christmas gift or two. And you know, that gift happened a long time ago, back in Bethlehem when Jesus was born. Do you know, Christmas is a time where there's a lot of love, there's a lot of joy, there's a lot of hope, there should be a lot of peace. And you know, for us Christians at this time, the gift of Jesus rep represents God sending his son down to earth, Jesus Christ, showing his love for us all. Well, I hope this Christmas that you have, that you remember that Jesus is the Prince of Peace, yeah. that you have a lot of fun at Christmas and through the holidays, and that while you are opening gifts, while you are giving gifts, while you are receiving gifts, that you will just give a moment to remember that Jesus came as the gift of love to, the, to this world all those years ago. We hope you have a great Christmas and we look forward to seeing you in 2021. Crazy. Amazing. It's happening. We'll see you then. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.